Okay, one day I will be prepared. Forgot the mic again. All right, so we're going to start with China. President Xi said he plans to wipe out poverty in China by 2020. He says he's going to eradicate poverty in the rural areas. And I was watching, I mean, reading an article where someone visited one of these rural areas. And that in particular person was like, well, the government doesn't care about me. And he said that he had no income, not anything from the government. He's like, he's in his seventies. And the way he survives is picking up trash and taking it into town for whatever he can get for it. So there are still the forgotten few. Mind you, that few is in the millions, but very much forgotten. And he, the president says he's going to wipe out poverty by 2020 in China. So let's see what likely, what the likelihood of that is. We start with the president. There is the King of Pentacles. So right off the bat, I feel as though this is about him more so than anything else. Four of Cups. This is going to look good, but not necessarily be good. This is an offer of some sort is what this card means or like boredom and moping. But in this in particular case, I'm going to go with what's being shown to the public is not necessarily the reality of it all. The world. Yes, what's shown to the public, what's shown to the world is not reality. It's just a perception. But when you, I guess, operate the way they do, that's pretty much what you need is perception. Queen of Swords. So this is the just and the true. We'll see what crosses that. But what crosses the world is strength. That's all he wants to do is appear to be strong. What better beast to tame than that of poverty? He can lead the world as the leader who eradicated poverty from his country in the whole bit. And what crosses the, the just and the true? The two of pentacles. Trying to maintain the facade and balancing that and the true. The empress. That's in the fear. That's interesting. Why is the Empress in the fear? Because in this in particular instance, what you want is like that good energy, that, that nurturing energy. You're trying to eradicate poverty. This is what you want. This should be in your hopes. Maybe it's the land. I think it's the land. For some reason, his fear right now is China itself, the land, like the actual ground. Now, one of the benefits to everything being made in China is that it's made in China. You get the all the, you know, 
the um, what do you call that? Not sales. This wasn't the word I was trying to to get. But you get all of the you get all the people buying all your crap. That's basically what I'm trying to say. But I was trying to use a different word. <laughs> but one of the downsides is you also get all the pollution. So he's worried about his actual land. In the hopes, the Queen of Wands. So from the just and the true and the balancing the facade to the action and reaction. There's a balance to the Queen. The King is a little more forceful. The Queen is a little more balanced. So there's a back. So it's like an action and then a wait period for the reaction. But in the environment, there is some victory. So, well, let's get the background card. Two of Cups, okay. So this is the meeting of the minds. This is the binding energy between two people. Um, the great thing about this is it's not going to hurt to try. The bad thing about this is this is not completely selfless. It, it does have some self-serving. It, it kind of reminds me of there was a... A bunch of comments made about Kevin Hart who was a comedian he gave a, mo a woman I think like $300 or something like that he gave he gives people money but he usually does it on camera like he'll he'll get his phone out and film himself and he did this once and people lost their mind filmed himself giving money to this woman and you know, after that, he kind of hyped himself up like this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to help people. You're supposed to do this, you know, and all that whole thing. And people was like, well, if you really cared, then you would have gave her the money without being on camera. So here's my thing with this. If he has to get some publicity out of it, let him have it. He helped somebody who did not have. If... I know a person's pride may not want to be put on camera as the poor person, but at the end of it, you got something out of it that you did not have that you did need. So he is in a position right now to where, yeah, he's going to help some people, but it's not going to be necessarily for you. It's going to be for him. So, I mean, fine. And his word of warning is the King of Wands. This is the forceful part. Like I was saying with the Queen of Wands, it is more of a action, wait, reaction. This is just action, move on, action, move on. So don't be that person. You have to put some plans into motion, see how it works and then do other things if it does or doesn't. In your word of solace, the Five of Pentacles. You have what it takes. This is your... The Five of Pentacles is about hardship, like financial hard times. This is not, there are plenty of people for you to help. And if you are truly bent on helping or if you are determined to help, that is a good thing. Um, in the end, it's not really going to work because <laughs> if you could have done it, you would have done it. But like I said, this is not completely self-serving. He is trying to help some people, but this is not completely selfless either. To where you're actually trying to wipe out poverty, you just needed to look that way. So, we have the president, President Xi. He is going to offer the world a vision of China wiping out poverty by the year 2020. It is the facade. It is just something he wants to show the world he can do. The Queen of Swords is the just and the true, crossed by the balancing of the actual and the factual, and then the not so factual and not so actual. So the just and true kind of balanced with the lie and two face. Um, your facade is surrounded by strength, so you will be able to pull off the facade. Your fear is your actual land. There is something wrong with it. You know first. Uh, I guess the world will know second. And your hopes is that things will go good. You will build off of that and then keep going. That's just your hopes. There is some victory and triumph. But you have to remember this is also a clarity card. 
behind the scenes is the two of cups. The people behind you are going to push this narrative. Now, you may say this is a victory card. That means in the environment, that means that he's going to actually do it. Remember what his outcome card is. The Ten of Swords is a card of loss, card of defeat. His word of warning is do not be the dictator that you actually are. Or what is what do they call it? The Because uh, he said he's going to be president for life. So anyway, don't be that person. Don't be the person who cannot listen to outside counsel. Uh, there are people to help with the five of pentacles and you will get some stories of how people's lives have been changed by your initiatives and that will help you but in the end you're not going to wipe out poverty in china by 2020. not to say that you won't do it ever but by 2020 it's not going to happen but i wish you luck in your quest noble goal bit lofty but somebody's got to think that way good luck to you